Two major things were happening. Um, I was trying to make sure that the leadership of the newly formed nonprofit organization was solid. At the same time, I was preparing with my family to leave the country at the invitation of the University of New Mexico. These two things were contradicting each other because a family that was to travel out of the country needed a whole lot of preparation and a nonprofit that was just formed needed all the attention of the CEO and all those that are working with him. I can't tell you how I navigated through this, but eventually I was able to do that. While that was going on, what was paramount in my heart was how I was going to be able to provide leadership for the organization because there was the team, the grassroots team, the Great Mind Forum that had transitioned into SLE and um, they needed the continuation of the activities that we had. And I really couldn't figure it out. It was really heavy in my heart. And before I knew it, boom, there was WhatsApp. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, so we could still meet, but not physical, virtually. By then I had formed Facebook uh, group and Facebook this and that, but none of those was working. I was test running those things to see which one was really going to be that virtual platform that was going to help us continue our forums. But WhatsApp came. And so I created a WhatsApp group and that was what helped us to continue the conversations and interactions while I was away. But before I left, we had this um, free medical and community engagement program in the School for the Deaf of Ekata Orodo, where we were able to conduct the test for sexually transmitted diseases. And um, we had the result that I had earlier mentioned. And so that was a huge thing for us. So we used that result to, that, that, that formed our talking point while we wrote letters to the education board and schools in Lagos and Abuja, Enugu, and all of that. So while that was going on also, we used it as a talking point in our meetings with the parents. I remember that I, in 2015, I traveled to the United States on a conference and came back. And when I got back, we had another um, Deaf Children Parental Care Initiative meeting. And, and it, it was a, a huge program because a lot of parents turned up. And by then, we had had this um, data that we were using as a talking point, we, which we used to talk with them. Now, I want to talk about the, the team members that made 2015 a great year for us. I will say that basically all the team members that joined us in 2014 as an organization or through Great Minds Forum, most of them stayed back and, and became, you know, volunteer members of SDLE, uh, which of course we called Team SDLE. So the people that took lead in the programs that we had, still Onyeka, uh, Onyeka, Onomara, Chibika, Labosa, Uche, Uche Naibe. I must thank these guys. I must not <laughs> fail to thank Onyi Wandikom, um, success on him, William Lasborn. You guys were awesome. Chinonsa Gawike was there. Um, all these played a very wonderful role, especially the medical team who conducted the test. Uh, I want to appreciate one of our elderly mothers, our sister, Mrs. Simba. Thank you so much for joining in that program. Uh, we had other people that helped us make the program. The Women of First Love Assembly. Man, you people rock. Thank you so much. Mrs. Grace Orumu Yuwa. Thank you, man, for the donations that you made through our organization to the school. Mrs. Oloma Ndubisi. Thank you also for, you know, gracing that program and, uh, and speaking. Mrs. Ndidi Onye Debelo, uh, thank you so much. I wouldn't forget all the, you know, friendly um, efforts that you put and also join us in that program. Thank you so much. Um, I, I don't know. There's a whole lot of people that I, you know, can really, really remember. So the team was intact 
and the team was going on well 2015 towards the end of the third quarter of 2015 my family and i left nigeria 2015 went by 